Welcome YouTube to my second Let's Play video of Farming Simulator 2013. Since the first video I've managed to sell all of my equipment. I bought a red tractor, a mower on the front which can be unpacked, and a basic forage wagon on the back here. And I also have a basic front loader with silage fork nothing special about that really but there we go and that's it really basically I'm showing you how to do the silage plant which is uh, I think I showed you on the last video it, it's above number seven on the map I've gone out of my head there for some reason, I don't know why and I've just got a mission to cut grass from the camp or I did have before I quit the game, it's not there anymore so I need to go to settings and missions every two minutes, plant growth fast oh, I did buy field number 9 and I planted it with grass I've got the timer on 120 times now so hopefully that's growing fast and you might be able to tell I've downloaded a couple of new mods actually quite a lot of new mods I've done a video on how to install mods so I'm hoping that might be useful if you want to know how and if you're using a MacBook like me. So to use silage all we really do is turn on the forage wagon and press G to change the tool really. Unfolding the mower, lowering the mower and turning it on. I don't want that mission. I did try a pallet mission. <laughs> yeah, I did try a pallet mission with the basic front loader, and I drove perfectly on speed setting three, and there still wasn't enough time to complete the mission. So I need a better. No. Well, I just need a better front loader really, that's all. Uh, I'm not planning on collecting a lot of grass now, but as you can see it's filling up the forage wagon. And I'm only going to show you until the green fills up the bottom. Ideally you want to get the forage wagon to, well, 100% of the cam. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to get it to about 3-4%. As you can see, it fills up, but it takes a long time. 2% is fine, so I'm going to speed up. Hold the mower. Yeah, I really haven't done that much else. I did one mission. Uh, that was a mowing mission in the campsite. It gave me a few thousand credits. It's not too bad. So we're entering the silage plant now. I've already completed one. I'm just doing the second one now, so hopefully this is going to make a lot of money. The first one is only 10% full now, and this one, this one is about 10% too. So I'm just dumping fresh grass in here. Not a uh, front load of pallet fork. No, I don't want that. Backing up here. 
and unloading. It takes longer to unload if you're more full on the percentage bar there that I'm switching to the front loader. Now the idea is that you roll over the fresh grass to compact it but you can do it quicker and more efficiently by hitting speed limit 3 and taking your vehicle to the other end of the silo and just running in circles it's that simple I did get my compacting up to 70 or so percent before I started the video uh, oh and good news I have increased my video limit past 15 minutes which was easier than I thought it would be actually so we're just getting this compacting to 100% you can see that in the top left of the screen Some of the mods that I've got, I think I said this, I can't remember. Some of them don't work, so I will be deleting mods now and then, and any mod which I think is too overpowered, I'll take that out as well. 95%. So the idea is you have to have at least 10% in these silos, otherwise, nothing will happen when the compactor is 100. So I've got it onto 100 now, and what happens is we're just going to blanket the silo. If it works, but come on. And it bashes into my vehicle. There we go. <laughs> uh, so that's blanket. Uh, golf course, it's too far away, I don't want to do that that's it. it it will probably take a good hour or so, I don't know the exact time, but this takes a long time to ferment a very long time, but once it has fermented, I've already done one earlier it goes to the fermented grass, which is darker in colour and you just Take the front loader. That's a bit of a bug there. That's crazy. Shove it into the grass. That goes down. Back up the front loader. And dump it in the hole here. just like this. Pretty easy, really. Now remember, this is hard mode, so on medium or easy there'll be a lot more money than that, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And... It would probably take a few trips to empty the silo. But I read somewhere, if you get all of the silos to 100%, you can make a million or so out of them. It's quite a lot. Fill level is still 11% in there, so it's probably worth 30,000 credits. Now, when I had my medium level save, I did the horseshoe mini event for collecting the 100 horseshoes and receiving 1 million credits after a rainy day at the end of the rainbow. So, let me know in the comment section whether you want me to boost myself with 1 million credits. 
I'll take that just to show you what the transport mission is like. And if you guys do want me to go and search for the 100 horseshoes, but I won't do it on screen because it's quite tedious to do and it takes a long time. If you do want me to do it, I will either upgrade my grass operations or branch out into animal husbandry or maybe even start regular farming which is why we bought simulator in the first place I suppose Sim simulator? Hmm, strange anyway they've given us a mission to do a pallet fork now Now I sh should have slowed down time in, in the day, but hopefully it's going to be okay. Just put the light on. I'll slow it back down next time. Connecting the pallet port. So yeah, let's have a try at doing the mission to transport pallets. I don't really think there's going to be a lot to say on route. I'm going to cab view. It's more interesting. Uh, and you might notice that I automatically drive on the left side of the road. That's because I live in the UK. Although I don't actually drive in real life either, so there we go, that's just how it is. That storage shed could be quite useful later on. Just going to go quicker. Across the road. Now I still need suggestions on good movie capture software from the App Store or free from the web anywhere really. The thing that I don't like is that I have to turn all the graphics down because of the lag and I don't know it's not brilliant but I prefer to put the graphics back up to medium or high whoops <laughs> uh, back up to medium or high for the let's plays if I can ah. tip never drive on the path Where's the pallet that I need to load? Here we go. This should be interesting. If not impossible. So I need to line up the fork. Now I can do pallet missions with a more expensive front loader because I've done it on the other save which I don't have anymore. But I didn't try them with this one, other than just before this let's play, and I failed it. So it's nearly perfect, but. What the? There's no way I'm going to do that in two minutes. Come on, get on my fork, get on my fork, what, what's going on, is this stuck? Uh, I feel like doing a really random, ah, use the forks, Luke. 
Oh, that was so bad. Uh, a backup. One minute to get to wherever it is I've got to go. Preferably not backward. Uh, I'm on speed setting three. This looks so bad. Ah, get out of the way! Ah! Who drives this late at night? Ah, oh, it's five o'clock now. That looks very precarious there, and I'm not sure I want to complete the mission. But I'm just showing you how impossible it is with a basic front loader. So my target is the grain mill, it looks like. 30 seconds. Nah, I won't make it. Let's go the shortcut. Sorry, it's not realistic, but um, racing. What? Come on! <laughs> There's no way that would happen in real life. Uh, 18 seconds. This is impossible. 13. Oh, come on. Slide down time back 5%. Two seconds. What? No, go away. Rage quit. Oh. Okay, well, that's how you do a front loader mission on Farming Simulator, and I recommend with this front loader you just simply don't bother um, because there's really not much point. I'm going to be a little bit naughty and reset that just because I feel like the game has cheated me. I really need to bring it back to the silage plant, but I'll do that off screen. Uh, before I quit this let's play, I'll show you some of the mods that I've downloaded and worked. I haven't used any of them yet. Apart from this one on my previous save, that is a very good, very good mod. Um, mod by machine type. Tippers. This looks interesting because I think you could fit, um, what is it, wool pallets in the back and it's, it's a covered trailer. Nothing special about that. Now this service trailer intrigued me because it looks like uh, a jack of all trades thing really. It says seeds, fertilizer, water, fuel. Maintenance is quite expensive though. I just had an email apparently. Cultivator, that screenshot looks a bit cheap so I might delete that. The ploughs look nice and professional. So I might try those out when I combine two fields at the start and a sprayer full capacity 8000 let's have a look uh, we'll have a look at those later fill capacity of 8000 compared to mods by brand placeable mods sales and objects machine type sprayers oh no I don't want mods Miscellaneous weights, speeding technology, bailing, loading wagons, tethers, windrowers, mowers, slurry tanks, manure spreaders, sprayers, sprayers, there we go. Fill capacity 4200 for 
251,000. So, would that be OP then? Because that's only 40,000. Maintenance is 70 a day. And machine type sprayers. There we go. Maintenance 330 a day. So that mod might be overpowered. Let me know in the comments if you want me to delete it or not. Um, what will I do for... I'm not even going to try that one. I think the best sort of missions are the grass cutting ones. Especially if you're doing silage. And yeah. What I'm going to do for the next back to play is hopefully upgrade the operations here. I will sell everything in both of these silos to see how much money I get. And then probably decide what to do on screen. But I really need opinions on what to do with the horseshoes, if you want me to find them all or not. Because one million might seem like a lot of money. It is a legitimate way to get one million at the start of the game, which really helps. But it's not that much money when you see the cost of some of these fields. But it will mean that I can start a Let's Play quite soon with full operations. So let me know what you want me to do after the next Let's Play, and we will take it from there. Hopefully this one will upload well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my previous Let's Play, and I hope the modding tutorial for installing mods onto MacBook helped. Well, that's it, really. Um, have a good time, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.